Sawatika and good day to everyone. Today I would like to sharing a knowledge about router with two static networks. This is a network diagram. So you all can see that this network consists of two different networks, net A and net B, which have different value like 192.168.10.0 and net B. 192.168.20.0 Now let me start how we can configure this router to become routing in between two static networks. Before that, let me see the actual lab. Firstly, we click to physical home city corporate office and finally mean wiring process. So this is the virtual lab. You all can see that on the left side mean network A, right side mean network B. And this is a Swiss router equipment in the red equipment. Now before you can begin, we must start at logical workplace. Okay, in order to get two static network can be able to routing with this R1, R1 must be firstly be configured with two different gateway. One gateway mentioned at 192.168.10.1, the other gateway mentioned at 192.168.20.1. So we need to have one additional laptop to configure this R1. Let's get the additional laptop from and device choose laptop put in there laptop one and the second thing we have to choose the suitable connection in between lab one to r1 mean cable suitable cables so we go to connection and choose console cable rs232 connected to laptop one and the other end connect to r1 means console after finish now we can start configuring r1 according to the configuring gateway address for r1 at port Fast Ethernet zero zero. Go to the desktop and we can choose terminal. In the actual configuration, maybe we can use app we call it Putty app. So if we using terminal configuration, we just click OK. So this is the result, see from the screen laptop. Press return to get start. Now you can follow the coding list here. Firstly, enable. Second, config shop for configure terminal. And now we begin to decide which port we need to configure early. So here mean have a zero zero port. That's why we need to put IMT stand for interface. Have a stand for fast Ethernet. And then port numbers mean zero slash zero. Enter. And the next mean IP address. IP ADD and use the shortcut. Tap address appear. Now key in the value for IP address 192.168.10.0. 
10.1 following by subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and then enter. So now the gateway finished already. Place in R1. However, we still short for one comma. We call it no shut mean we out the link. Or we switch on the port for zero zero port. Command use mean no shut down. And enter. This will be tell us the configuration already finished. We put in the gateway at fast internet port zero zero. So in order to continue the next port configuration, we need to exit or end and we start again. Enable configure terminal. Interface fast Ethernet one zero. The coding you can see from the right side here configure gateway address for R one at port have a one zero. IP address 192.168.20.1 followed by subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and finally enter. Also, we put the no shot to up the line, switch on the port. No shutdown. So now already two bot out ready from R1. And you can check now on the both cable line out with green light. Port FA00 and port FA10. Also we can see the value for Port 1, 0 and 0, 0, fast Ethernet port 0, 0 out, 192.168.10.1 slash 24 class C IP address and the other port FA10 out also with the IP address 192.168.20.1 slash 24. The next step is we need to configure the devices in both network A or network B. Let me start in network A first. Configure the PC IP address, static IP address. So we go to the desktop. Again, we choose IP configuration. At the subnet mark IP before address, key in the IP address 192.168.10.1 and then subnet mask also with the default gateway 192.168.10.1 now finish let's check from the screen pc fa 0 out 192.168.10.2 slash 24 and the gateway where you mean 192.168.10.1. Right now, go to the net B to configure device laptop. Again, do IP configuration. At the IP before address, key in 192.168.20. Dot two and subnet mask. Also key in default gateway 
192.168.20.1 right we check back again the value yep we got it the line out and the IP address 192.168.20.2 slash 24 with the gateway 192.168.20.1 now we can start to verify network function use CMD let's say PC pin to R1 so we need to go to the PC first and then from the desktop we choose command prompt now we need to key in the value for r1 192.168.10.1 from here key in command pin following by the numbers ip address 192.168.10.1 enter the result show connection is successful and we can see the result mean packet sent for receive four losses go to zero that means zero percent loss nothing to loss okay now go to the next laptop pin to r1 Go to the command prompt, pin 192.168.20.1, enter. Fortunately, we get it successful. Packet send for receive for loss go to 0%. And we go to the PC, pin to laptop, back again to the PC, and choose command prompt. We have to know the value for laptop, 192.168.20.2. So put in the command, pin 192.168.20.2. Enter. So the packet sent for receive four and lost zero percent. The network is successfully. And finally, laptop pin to PC. With the laptop pin, we need to know or memorize the numbers IP one nine two dot one eight dot twenty dot one dot two so go to the command prompt key in pin one nine two dot one six eight dot ten dot two successfully net was connected packet sent for receive for loss zero percent thank you for watching